Certain parts of your body might feel like they're starting to go to sleep, like that tingly needles feeling. This just went up to 8.9. There's something around. Sacrifice. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be doing that. On another occasion, why? Oh, fuck no. I was going to say, say it, Dale. Welcome, brave souls, to a new episode of Unearthing the Supernatural. Tonight, we venture into the heart of the Wild West, where history is soaked in blood and the spirits of the past linger in the shadows. This is Tombstone, Arizona, a town forever etched in the annals of American folklore. Founded in 1877, Tombstone quickly earned its name as one of the most infamous boomtowns of the West. Rich veins of silver brought fortune seekers and outlaws alike. Amidst the saloons and the brothels, lawmen and gunslingers walked a thin line between order and chaos. But among these hallowed grounds, one place stands as a testament to the lawlessness and violence that defined this rugged frontier, the OK Corral. October 26, 1881, marked a day of reckoning. The infamous gunfight that erupted here was a mere 30 seconds of hellfire, leaving three men dead and the energy of the moment forever stained in perpetual unrest. It was here that Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan and the steadfast Doc Holliday faced off against the ruthless Clanton and McClowry brothers. The echoes of their gunshots still resonate through the ages. Whispers of the damned carried on the cold desert wind. Tonight, we find ourselves at the second annual Tombstone Paracon, a gathering of seekers, believers, and those who dare to uncover the spectral truths of this haunted town. As we step into the shadows of the OK Corral, we aim to commune with the restless spirits of yesteryear to hear their stories, and to perhaps give them a voice from beyond the veil. We are joined by several guests of the Paracon as Hiro and Bezpao led the paranormal investigations for two nights. What they found their time here is truly one of a kind. Let the investigation begin. your body might feel like they're starting to go to sleep like that tingly needles feeling that's another thing and then just an instinctual 
fight or flight response is another kind of sign that there's something around. So we'll go ahead and walk this way just so you guys, before I shut off the lights back here, so you guys get a footing of where everything's at. This building is open. Definitely watch out for all these pointy objects that are sticking out. You don't want to be tripping or running into anything. And then in here, if you before we shut off all the lights, if you want to swing by in here and take pictures of anything, I'm going to give it about five minutes before we shut off all the lights. Definitely take some pictures of some amazing photographs, amazing pieces of work, some amazing history in here. If you want to take some pictures before you go anywhere, definitely do that. Right We're going to be going in here later on okay. tonight. Lights up! So I, it's in the uh, traditional language was that we're here to communicate with those that passed away, those that are um, still here that choose not to move on. We're wanting to learn about you guys, learn about your, uh, what, what's keeping you here, if there is anything keeping you here, Aggression. and um, how we can Aggression. help. Aggression's Aggression removed. Yes, please. So that's not statement. statement. Yell. Yell. Chief. Hey, calm down. It's Judge. okay. Hold on. Let's do one word at a time. Let's start asking some questions on our end, okay? Good job. <laughs> so when it said chief, like, the, would you ask it because of the pictures of, like, Geronimo and stuff like that? Or? I would, uh, either yeah, that or they're really racist Sally. and I'm native and they call me chief. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we kind of, that, I mean, back in the day it was a normal thing. So what actually I'm going to have you guys do, you have the puck, right? Mm -hmm. And you have the lantern, yeah. because we're interacting with the spirit, put the lantern right here, and the February puck on top of it. Strong feet. Feet. Oh. February strong feet. February strong feet. Didn't, um, the gunfight happened oh. October, didn't it? Oh, that's just the uh, uh, October 26. Alright, so what we found is that this particular combination of the puck and the lantern has a very interesting kind of compounding effect. One, they both read slightly different kind of readings, but when they're together, any type of little more sensitive kind of interaction, it usually lights up pretty good. So, yes, guns in the What's in the guns in? Sacrifice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hang. I said, if there is anyone who understands this particular language, is there anything we can do to help Forever. you? Sacrifices. Can person. you? Nana. Nana. Best pause. Alice. You're up. I'm, I'm sacrificing you. Okay. <laughs> this just went up to 8.9. Did it say hang and twice? Nice. Good job. Good call. Try to turn clockwise as much as you can. That's a, that's a native teaching. When you turn, you try to turn clockwise anywhere you go. Counterclockwise can get you sick and get you lost in the spirit world. It's the teaching. So try to turn clockwise. So we kind of had our first interaction with something out there. It feels pressurized in here for me right now, like in my head. It just feels like someone's just pushing. That's a normal feeling. If you guys feel that, or feel anxious, a little bit tingly at the tips of your fingers or the tips of your toes, that's another uh, sign of uh, pressure, spiritual energies that's around, high pressure. Whatever's around, they're really tingly. Right now, it's just I mean, it, it has been. Oh! Hi! This thing just went all the way Hello, how's it going? Oh, find me tonight. Hello. Yeah, I just stepped towards my Go daughter. Ahead and put it right there. Aww. Oh.
Do you need to step outside? Wolf. Cool. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. And there's no ventilation in your list. Was it a block? Memory block? It does get B-O-O-G. He's blogging. David's blogging. Blogging? He's making a video about it. Yeah. I don't know. So you know that? Just all of a sudden it was just a... Which? What's flashing? Oh, it's so scary. Look, it looks so nice. What's flashing in there? There should be nothing flashing. Oh, it's just me. Oh, it's just me. Was it? It's you. No, I was in there because I saw something and I went to. Jennifer, are you a ghost? But I saw like like it was like a rim puff went off. I didn't see, but I heard him say it. I thought it was a rim puff. Never like off. That's why I'm in there. What was it? I don't know. It's not what I went in there. Let's go ahead and transition. Let's go ahead and grab your devices. And we'll transition to this one. It seems like you try to follow where they're leading you. There were some lights that like it turned on the house lights. Even though, if you look over here, the literal main breaker is off. So there should be no electricity at all. This whole this whole plot. So there's no like no mini breakers, and that's the main one that shuts it off. That or should our uh, speech pull or divide it for me? Okay, so we'll stick together actually right now. The whole, see those handprints all on that? Yeah. I mean, that could be people that have touched it. Ah, oh, this is a mess. This is a Yes, go on. That's in the D. Go on. Just like making myself known. <laughs> Get you some camera time. Come on. Come on. Enter. Enter. That's spooky here. <laughs> it's all a 50 millimeter lens, so it's like up close on everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's alright though. I like it. Having a good time. So we just got done with our first investigation of the night. It went pretty good. Oh, thank you. Um, it went pretty good. Got some evidence. I would say we got some evidence. We filmed it. You will see it on a different camera, a different non-night vision. And here is Heroes. We did the first round of paranormal investigating with a group of people and round two came around and showed up. And you might be thinking, oh, that's kind of sad. Well, for us, that means we get to check out the OK Corral on our own for a little bit. We'll see what we find here. Stay tuned. It's been so long that um, Hero dropped this equipment box. And a bunch of dirt came out, like a, like dust. A little later. Yes, a little later dust just came out of it. It was pretty funny. It was like, dang, we haven't used this in a while. <laughs> Bye. Come with me. And you'll see. A world of pure imagination. <laughs> <laughs> So, that does bring a good question. Do spirits use the restroom? No. Well, maybe. 
They might have the urge to. I don't know if they do. What does ghost shit look like? Are we all just walking in ghost feces right now? At some point in time, there was shit here. At one point in time, in history, you're walking on shit. Now whether it was within the past 10 years, 100 years, 1000 years, million years, even billion years, at one point in time, there's shit here. The more you know. Why those guys always freak me out? Yeah, when I was standing over there, I was tripping me out too. What would be wildly scary is they start moving and they book it at you and their lower half gets like sawed off from the fence here but their upper half is like still floating just coming at you that would be freaky Feels five going right now. Let's see what we have going on. It would be cool. Go ahead and put the rim pod. Um, what do we do when something comes in? At the door? Yeah. Group wagon. Hey man, what does he look like? A night vision. He's pretty cool. Okay. We are going to so hey, we should also come. We are going to say, hey, we should also say. Take on in the game, it's going to go. Bash, we should say, hey, he's going to say, don't you know, he's going to say, bah, we should say. We're just here, so we're here to listen to you. So listen to your, your song, your stories, your lessons, your teachings. Uh, what can we learn from the other side? What do you have? Can you move and make a noise and let us know you're here? I am. Oh shit! Oh shit, you okay? Yeah, it was just this thing fell off. Which one? This battery pack. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> Did you just get dead? <laughs> <laughs> And any spirits here that don't understand that language, please make a noise. Knock on the walls. Let me know that you don't understand that language. Is that it? Alright, well we're going to 
we're gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go next door to the stage. I want to see if there's any spirits over there. Is there anything we should look out for? Who has arrived? Who has arrived? Release. Release. Who needs to be released? Something has been released. But who? Tell me who. Contrition. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Is that light flashing over there? Can you see that? Look at that kid. There's fucking flashing over there, bro. There's no one over there. No one over there. What do you think, Florida? I don't know. Oh, now that one's taking a pace. It's not flashing over there anymore. Hey, were you just fucking uh, messing with the lights just now? The lights. The lights for the stage over, or for the the those things over there? Like, did they turn on? Or yeah, did they turn on? Oh, uh, which one? The one by the mannequins. Was it like a motion kind of light looking yeah. thing? Yeah, Did it yeah. light up that whole area? Yeah. Lit it up for like a couple seconds. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's a motion sensor. But what's motioning over there? There's no that's trees, not right? Not You're the paranormal guy, you tell me. What the fuck? You're like, we caught it on camera too. It's like, it's like lighting up over there. No one's over there. Yeah, no, that's what I thought now you want to find out. <laughs> Look, are those mannequins fucking moving? <laughs> I can't tell, dude. Every time I'm here, late at night, I don't know this. Well, that one's head's turning, so... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Is this thing on right now? The electricity? Welcome to the OK Corral. The West's most famous gunfight began where you are now standing. As you look around, you can see the gunfighters, just as they stood on October 26th, 1881. They're both doing that right now, so that's strange. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be doing that. Okay. On another occasion, Wyatt caught Cowboy Billy Clinton with one of Wyatt's missing horses. So, go ahead and have a seat, and let's see if it, yeah, if we need like a, a breeze notices it turns it on. I'm recording right now. Can you make the light turn on? Were you the one making the light turn on or was it just a faulty fuse? So let's move away and see if it comes back on. Yeah. He's like, cool, dog, I got their attention. Come back, come back. <laughs> now it's flashing. Alright, now turn it off. Oh shit. I 
आई एम दैट वेल गोस्टीज वी आर हियर any y'all want us want to fight <laughs> let's fight a friendly brawl calling you out over there that that gentleman over there that shadow oh, being you yellow ank yep see see yep come on Let's go. Hold this, hold this, hold this. Oh, <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to train you. Where do you think we should go? Where are they at? In the building. In the little building. In the little one. A little one. Where do you think we should go? Can I put it like somewhere back here? Is it big enough? Or should we put it on the ground? We'll put it on the ground. We'll put it on the ground. Miss Paul, you're going to be asking the questions in English, and I'll ask, ask the questions in the spiritual language. Okay. 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 Oh, for Judy at the table. No, I'm away from it. I'm away from it. Are you recording that, Miss Paul? Yeah. So we got already one cat ball rolling. How's it going? Hello. Are you stars? We're gonna have to bleep that now. We're gonna have to bleep that now. Oh, oh no! Oh, we'll take it down. Yeah, There's so many flags. My bad. <laughs> he said it first though. Okay, go ahead and ask a question, Miss Mom. Who's in here with us? What's your name? Adam said, "Don't talk to you." Cha unza ba hit you na zam. Ivafa. Ivafa. Wie schön, dass du so sich könnte und sind und da hält sie. Nett. Weißt du, ja. I asked, um, I asked, how many times, or how many, how many times, I asked, how are you feeling about us being here? And he said, no, that's not quite the direct answer. It's not an answer for me. Yeah, it sounds pretty direct for me. <laughs> How are you feeling about us being here? No. No. Yeah. How are you feeling about us being here? He's saying he's really not feeling good. Cranzia. Abutukranzia. It's until no clash, you don't take any of John Fitt. Don't you guys shut up? Can't. It says shut your mouths or I'll end it. That's what we're going to do with this. Okay. Which is, I think, a little more shocking to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to trust you. I'll don't really want. Why are you so aggressive? It's a thing that doesn't do. 
I said, I'll raise you by your toes. Yeah. Yo. We like that. We're just, we're just here. That's Bob. Half who expect. Oh, half who expect. That's um, cover, cover, like cover me with a black blanket. You are wearing all black. I'm just saying. What about? Why do you need a black blanket? Do it. Wow. Do it. Um, do it is um, like putting on a, the action of like putting on a sock. Like you're putting on your pants. So put it on. Nice to. Nice. Okay, I'll take it off. Where should I? Ashton, Sakon, Panyan, Lons, Eden, Nick. I think it was this kind of ghost hunting thing. This is a description. Yeah. yeah. What kind of channels is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit too hubby for me. I don't know, it's just not saying anything. No need my ID. Don't need your ID. Ashton, Sakon, Lons, Eden, Nick. Ashton, Sakon, Lons, Eden, Nick. Where do you want him to put the jacket? Okay, we'll leave it here. Here's okay. 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 Okay, well, I'm sorry. It's heavy, kind of a heavy one. Go for it. Can you move the jacket for us? I don't know it's on scene, Sonny. Yeah. Was stones? And I said, and. And drop it on the floor if you can. I thought it's old, it's not fair, Nani. Nani. What kind of job did you do? I thought it's old, but it's old, it's old. Oh, damn. What is that? I gathered thyroids. Oh. So, so he, he, he or, or either gather, I'm imagining he slits throats. Thyroids? Like, thyroid and stress. Thyroid and stress, is that kind of deep? So you're a murderer. Oh, yeah. That's why he wants a, he wants a black jacket. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, it says hurry. <laughs> How do you pick the person you take from? He's a good one. 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 Basically. So is he from a native tribe? I don't know, no, don't. Don't say. The, the, the horror is, 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 um, like, higher. Murder for hire. 
like like higher like up, like elevation. Beef. Beef. I just asked if it was ever human. Tony Isnura. Ed High and Erkenia. What? High and Erkenia. We don't want to eat and all the kind of food. It's asking us if we want to drink. If we want drinks. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Always <laughs> down for a good drink. Oh yeah. If you bring them, I'll knock you back. Ah, king, you told me up. It's the only thing you see. Should ask you what kind of drinks. Hang on. Joy, 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 you okay, so what are you doing behind me then? This is I am behind you. Hefe, is that you? But you be trying to create a blade to my neck. I am shy, no. Nothing hit any of you guys. 
Wir sehen sogar E und A und C. Das ist ein Preferred und nicht Stabbed. Ibikiri. Ibikiri. Ibikiri means wielded. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not going to. Camera went off. The camera went off? Or the. the. Put this on the scene. Oh, the camera switched off. Picture Nino's side. You can't look. Yeah, he turned off. The it, turned, night it turned off the, the night vision? Yeah. Did you turn it back on? Yeah. Okay. So, we're starting to mess with shit. Why can't we look? Not as game be You're not supposed to. Is that for all of us? Yeah. And then choose right. What's wild is it's the woman saying all this stuff now. What did he say? The, the woman said, pick it up. Maybe they're not a fan of it. All right. So, well. I'm going to hold it from the actual blade side. Okay. See if you can. Hold it. Take it. Some numbers went underneath this finger. So don't try not to pay attention to those numbers. Those ones. Yeah, that's supposed to be a temperature. Pointing at Chantor. I've told the ah. It's a keep paying attention to it. Or don't take your attention off. Oh. Who are we speaking to? The post out said, it's only gonna eat. Can I your eye on? You don't need to know. Is someone looking behind me? Me. Okay. I thought they won't say, oh, God. Are you just messing with us? Higher at a hitchin. He's harmless again. Well, why are you so aggressive with your stuff, though? Who's harmless? That's the woman that keeps saying, answering for the man that he's harmless. Mm. And why are you saying these throats when you're all intense? Spicy. Because. <laughs> like, because. <laughs> Go ask a question. Are, are you two friends? I don't know. Why? 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 Ah, stay. Ah, stay. It is a thing. 
Keep going. Keep trying to manifest. Keep powering yourself. You got this. At was tied. There's a concept of spirits being bonded together. Oh, they're married. Not quite. You mean? Yeah, you're, um, did you do it? Say, ow, no. Ow, and say, you know, need to, and you also, okay, okay. They didn't use a half. Tell them they, they got the, and this is the only one down there. Oh. Sometimes spirits get conjoined, like they get almost like blood bonded, but but they ended up like their shadows are tied together. Mm-hmm. They might want to use the blade to cut themselves separate. How did you two end up together? Love for love? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm So, so there, there are beings that were before we kind of gave God our physical forms. They were half human, half spirit. That's why he said, "Do it, Eric." Eat both feet. Eat that's a total. There were um, spiritual beings that were half human, half spirit. That's why he said he was the only human for a time. Remember that mm-hmm. for a short time. Oh, I'm sorry. They were uh, they were madly in love. It didn't happen very fast. They fell in love as spirits, and then decided to become humans to fall in love. But they broke natural laws, so they were forced to be spirits. And because they broke these natural laws, they um, were forced to be conjoined forever. But it also damned them in a sense. Mm. So. You need to be a past one, you so. That's what I was thinking. Uh, they want. They were from completely different creations, mm. so they're not. Um, they're not even like. Oh, I imagine. It's not human and human. Uh, oh, well, I guess no. <laughs> Trying to make it under, understandable. So the, the way to think about it would be, ones from Africa, ones from North America, but and they were forbidden to love each other mm-hmm. as spirits, and but they still wanted to be together. So they, they like said, "Fuck no." Yeah. They said, like, fuck you to everyone, we want to be together, and they got punished for it. So it was that Romeo and Juliet situation. Pretty much, yeah. There's only one who can't do it, don't you? Oh, okay. You had to do that. I'll give you the knife back. They said it didn't work. Oh. They're literally just trying. (laughs) Sorry it didn't work. What are your plans if you do separate? Give my tour. Do you have any plans to where you guys want to go when you do? Tap and feed To the other, to pretty much heaven. To the other side. Uh, like the happy of this. It translates out to the, the happy height. Happy high home, so like heaven. Hell cheats pie. We can't go there now. Mm-hmm. Why not? All back B. 
be we. It's my fault. So the man came in and said that. So is he the one that broke the natural law? Was it a mistake? O team. On purpose. So I, was thinking, I think they know what they were doing. They knew that they still wanted to be here and defy the laws. But after being around for so long, they long for heaven. But quite a They. I'm proud. I don't try and he's all explain. What they mean by that is when they. Where's the ball at? I have the ball in my hand. It's the thing went off. What are you? Something went off over there. What's in my... Hello. That was weird, huh? It was flashed. It flashed, whatever that was. There was a flash last night in here. <clears throat> Old Heidi's roll. What, what are you digging my pockets for? <laughs> Is it on your pockets? It's a geotalk walk. Um, but what he was saying earlier is that he splits the throats of those. Um, so they're they're have to feed. Pied. That's good. So they have to feed on beans. And so what they'll do is they'll let me get this right. TSF. So they almost like possess people and their times are ready to end their lives. They don't force them to kill themselves. Mm. They like the Grim Reaper of suicide. How many people have you possessed? It is not sit on town, no. It's not shyly. Countless. I want to again. She keeps saying he's innocent, though. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to kill him something anyway, it's, well, right. it's a have to do kind of thing. That's true. It's a, it's a necessity, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you, sir. Let's all leave. Let's all leave and leave the equipment on. Ooh. I'm putting my hand on. I don't know if I'm cold or if it's hard, but I'm feeling them. So. Should we even leave the Kowalski with him? Put Kowalski right here. <laughs> Kowalski, you keep entertained. Read it all. Our dead. Curse tea. For and Rosie's soul. Yet mine. Kulan. Yosa. 
different communication devices real quick and see how that turns out. We'll be right, I'll be right back. After a long two nights of investigating the OK Corral, we made contact with ancient beings as well as other spirits who taught us so much. Several of these interactions were extremely sacred and are not suitable for public viewing. Beyond the OK Corral, the spirits of Tombstone were incredibly active. Hero and Bezpal not only learned a great deal, but were also able to help several spirits with offerings, blessings, and ceremonies. Unearthing the Supernatural would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to all the guests, the City of Tombstone, Tombstone Paracon organizers, all the spirits, and all our fans of Unearthing the Supernatural. Remember to think beyond written history. We are few of many, one story of thousands. We are Unearthing the Supernatural.